today. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Today's broadcast. The declaration of Almaty has no legal force. Armenia Gabrihamian. Chronology of the genocide against Armenians. Actor Jew Manganiello told about his ancestors who survived of the events of 1950. Baku continues to copy. Turkey will participate in the Gaza on genocide case. The Hamid regime, the founder of the main terrorist of genocide denial. A group of vessels dating from the 9th century. The chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrihamian, gave an interview to the correspondent of Western Armenia TV. During the interview, Armena Gabrihamian talked about the rights of Artsakh people, their nativeness, and the challenges of Western Armenia. While speaking about his activities, Mr. Armena Gabrihamian noted that he thinks that his main task is to protect the rights of the indigenous Armenian nation in all aspects. To the question, what does it mean to be a native, Armena Gabrihamian said that the main aspects are human rights, including the issues of genocide committed against Armenians in Western Armenia, as well as the effective protection of culture, language, and intellectual property of the native Armenian nation. Speaking from Almaty's declaration, the chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia emphasized once again that the documents on the creation of the CIS, including the 1991 December 21 Almaty's declaration, from the point of view of the international law, cannot be considered in any way as an agreement that some territories are Baku. The interview is available on the YouTube page of Western Armenia TV. Chronology of genocide against Armenians. On March 3, Russia's newly formed Bolshevik government signed an alliance with the anti entite states Germany, Austria, Hungary, Bulgaria, and Turkey in Brest Litovsk, effectively withdrawing from the entente and moving closer to its former adversaries. By signing this agreement, the parties agreed on the issue that Hence, a fourth hostilities between them will cease and Russia will ensure the withdrawal of its troops from Western Armenia, in particular from Kars, Ardahan and Batum regions. This treaty was a logical continuation of the peace decree adopted by the Bolsheviks on November 8, 1917. The brest litovsk Treaty, to which the Armenians of Western Armenia are not a party, but the Armenian population living in the region of the Caucasus Front in a difficult situation. In fact, it wanted to baptize the decision on protection of the right of free self-determination of the lands of Western Armenia, adopted by the Bolsheviks on December 29, 1917, and instead adopted the decision to return the same lands to Turkey. Months later, on September 20, the Russian government, with the note signed by Foreign Minister Chicherin, cancelled the cession of Caucasian territories to Turkey according to the President of Treaty. And yet, with the Treaty of Brest, albeit of the temporary nature, it became impossible for the newly created Caucasian army and republic to return the territories of Western Armenia where the Russian army was stationed a few months before and which could be taken by the decree on Armenia signed by Russia at the time of the establishment of the Republic of Western Armenia to become its oetic constituent part. The Peace of Brest created good opportunities for the Turkish side with conquest ambitions, taking advantage of the created situation and violating the Yerzhenka armistice signed on December 5, 1917. The Turkish army went on attack and Due to the prevailing forces, captured Yerzenga, Garin, Sarigamish, Kars, one after the other, and on May 15, Alexandrople as well. The question of bring or not hang over Eastern Armenia. Actor Joe Manganello told about his ancestors who survived of the event of 1915. Actor Joe Manganello spoke his ancestors who survived the genocide against Armenians and his roots on the air of the Armenian TV channel within the framework of the Armenian History Month project, emphasizing that he is Armenian from his mother's side. My mother is Armenian and she always prepared Armenian food, which I have eaten since I was a child and I still love it, said the actor. According to Manganello, as he grew older, he became familiar with his roots and was very impressed by that heritage. The actor's great-grandmother, Tavris, was a victim of the genocide against Armenians. I wanted to get to know that history while those who knew about it were alive and I managed to do that, said Manganello. As a result, he revealed that in 1915, the Turks killed the great-grandmother's husband and seven children. In the end, the woman ended up in the camp. In the end, Tabriz and CRP ended up in the U.S. state of Massachusetts. Let's remind that last year, Manganello told the story of his grandfather in details in one of the interviews. I am a descendant of survivors. It's hard, the actor said. The video actor Joe Manganello discusses his Armenian heritage. 
In Baku on May 1, the building of West Azerbaijan Television was opened in the community of the same name. The occupying power of Baku continues to copy the idea and history of Western Armenia community. MP Aziz Alex Perdi declared that they are struggling to ensure the peaceful and safe return of Azerbaijanis to their native lands. Azerbaijan, which was declared a state on May 27, 1918, talks about the region. It should be noted that uh, support's native territory is not located in the territory of Armenia at all. It is located in Persia. It is appropriate to remind Azerbaijan that the term Azerbaijan of Persia origin became the official name of the democratic Islamic state formed as a result of the split of the Russian Empire in 1918. Before that, the term Azerbaijan exclusively referred to the historical territory of Shahan Iran. It is for this reason that the Persian government appeals that newly independent countries use of the name of the Azerbaijan territory, which is an inseparable part of historical Iran, which itself represents the later territory claims to that territory. The occupiers are used to making his history by stealing. Turkey, which committed the genocide against Armenians and denies this fact, decided to participate in the case of genocide in the Gaza Strip, which was initiated in the International Court of Justice based on South Africa's lawsuit against Israel. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan expressed hope that due to this step, the process in the International Court will go in the right direction. According to Turkish media, Fidan noted that the Turkish effort to join the judicial process have been ongoing for a long time. He added that Ankara will soon complete the legal procedures to participate in the process. Fidan noted that Turkey will continue to cooperate with all friendly and allied states on further steps in this matter, including the joining of new countries to the process. Occupying Turkey is a kingdom of crooked mirrors, whose leaders are looking in those mirrors and are pleased with themselves and call others to live in the world of such crooked mirrors. An example of denial is revealed in 2011. While reading the package of foreign language and still not fully studied, document transferred from the Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs to the National Archives of Eastern Armenia. In this package of writing kept in the National Archives of Armenia letter, number of 114 arrests to the British Foreign Minister is found, in which the British diplomat Francis Clairfort, who had been on the diplomatic serve in Rome since 1893, stated in his secret letter of December 7, 1894, to the British Foreign Secretary John Whitehouse Kimberly that according to the High Door, the Commission proposed to the powers should investigate not the violence committed against Armenia, but the actions of gents composed of Armenians. One of the most insidious form of denial politics is to conduct an investigation into the violence committed and look for the culprits. At first glance, this seemingly innocent and righteous initiative actually has much deeper and misleading goals. By creating joint commission to investigate known violence and involving representatives of the superpowers in it, the Turkish authorities are actually trying to divert the attention of foreigners. And doubly by involving by the representatives of the power and appointing a Turkish ruler to the position of the head of the commission. And the plan aimed to carry out the investigation in the places preferred by them in an appropriate way. The correspondence of two high ranking diplomats kept in national archives of Armenia is a revelation of such an initiative. A group of vessels dating from the 9th century are evidence of the development archemy in medieval Armenia. A group of containers dating back to the 9th century and related to archemy was found in the Divinaria as a result of excavations carried out in different years. It shows that the development of archemy in medieval Armenia enabled specialists to um, scrutinize and obtain various chemical substances. In medieval Armenia, archemy allowed specialists to crystallize, vaporize, perspitate and obtain various chemical substances. As a result of archaeological work, they discovered many objects related to archaeology, which are described in many medieval manuscripts. Smaller sized vessels were more widespread in medieval army, and there are several approaches to their use. The first is to fit them with various materials into vessels with narrow mouths. The second is to draw materials from various objects. For example, in medicine, they have been used to draw blood from a vein. This was all for today. Goodbye.